Investigate a school stand silent. And when I woke up this morning, my mom was all panicked, saying you won't believe it. After a threat was made toward Estacada High School. The Clackamas County Sheriff says it was a current high school student who made the threat, which forced the closure of every school in the district. I mean, thankfully they're safe. Thankfully the school district did close down for it, but I don't know what's going to happen. Just keep on happening. They can't keep it closed forever every time there's a new threat. That Estacada teen was charged with disorderly conduct in the first degree. And that's when somebody makes a report knowing it to be false publicly about some sort of impending catastrophe or disaster that's about to happen, like a bomb threat or a school shooting. Clackamas County Deputy District Attorney Chris Owen says charges for these types of threats can range from a misdemeanor to a felony. If the investigation develops evidence that the individual uh, actually plans on carrying out that threat and there's evidence to support that, then the charges would be much, much more serious. This isn't the only school threat our area has seen recently. In the past two weeks, four threats in four different districts are being investigated. That's Estacada, Yamhill Carlton, Salem Kaiser, and Tiger Tualatin. Three of those investigations have led to an arrest. Anytime this happens, it has our full attention. Owen says it doesn't matter who makes the threat. Even students under 18 will be investigated. But certainly if you're somebody who's a, a you know, a, a teenager and you're making these statements, there will be a full investigative response by law enforcement. Right, so three of those threats did lead to an arrest, and those were all students under the age of 18, one of them just 13 years old. David, Laurel. Thank you, Ashley.